Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Creating with Gorilla Art. We're going to be making this beautiful sunset painting. <laughs> with a silhouette of a horse and a little girl. And it's a really fun project. It's a very good one for beginners. It's a super easy one. Also, you can adapt it. Um, I just downloaded, I'll talk about that later too, but I downloaded um, these silhouettes from the internet and you could really do anything you wanted to do. You could do a boy for this one. Uh, you know what, and it doesn't even have to be a horse. You can do any silhouette. A silhouette is a black, shape of something and we'll talk about more why they're silhouettes but let's talk about the supplies you're going to need for today this canvas is i'm just it's a recycled canvas so it does have a little paint on it uh but i think it's light enough that it doesn't make any difference when we're going to be putting on the new paint let's talk about the paints we're going to need we're going to need white pink, yellow, red, and purple, and we're gonna need black. I haven't added that, but we are gonna need black. I'll put that in later. We're gonna need a sponge, and I'm gonna grab my little round. So I've got a round brush. I'm not sure if I'm gonna need a detail brush, but if I do, it's that skinny little one there. And, um, we are going to be using stencils. Now what I did for this horse one is I just downloaded this stencil from, a silhouette rather, from the internet. So you could just do that. Download a little silhouette. You could draw it yourself, of course. But just to make it simple, I downloaded, um, downloaded this picture, the silhouette, and then I cut it out. And, you know, I'm gonna trace that on after we paint it. So you'll need to have a silhouette or, you know, whatever you want to do for your picture if it's gonna go in front of your sunset. So let's get started on our sunset. Now we're just doing a really super fun, easy one. This is for beginners, super fun. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off with my sponge and I'm just gonna dip it in the white. And I'm just going to start off with a circle right in the middle. So if you have a canvas that is just white, like it should be, um, you might not see the difference, but just trust in the process. And it's about that size. But I'm gonna come in now on the same spot of my sponge where the white was. I'm just gonna dip right into that yellow. And I'm just gonna come in here. Oops, got a little hair in it. And lightly go around it. I like to start on the outside and then I'm going to gently work on the inside. This way, the idea is that maybe it's a little lighter in the middle of that. I'm going to add a little more yellow and just do a little bit around. Really, we're just doing kind of this circular thing all the way around. It's very simple sunset, fun. Okay, so now I'm going to dip in my next color, which is going to actually be two colors because we want to kind of get an orange. So what colors do I need to make orange? Yellow, red. So I just double dip. I'm going to start right on that edge. Definitely want it to be orange and it will turn, turn orange just the more you kind of swirl it around. I like it to be a little streaky. so. I I personally don't go over and over and over. So if you want it to be completely smooth, you'll go over. But if you want it to be streaky as, as like I have it, don't go over it too much. I also wanna see a little better gradation moving in. I don't wanna see a line. So I'm just gonna dip straight in the yellow right now and kind of go over that spot. Might even might even turn this over to a clean spot. I just want a softer line. I don't want it to be like this harsh line. We want it very soft. You can always turn it to a clean spot 
and go over with nothing and that'll help blend it as well. So now we've got um, our orange. So guess what? Now we're gonna just do orange. Notice how much of the canvas this is. It's pretty big. See the spacing? That's where you need to make sure your spacing is about that much as well. I see some people where they do it and it's too small. They've done really small and then it just doesn't come out right. I would say it's about an inch for each color. Ooh, that's looking pretty. I'm gonna put a little more red. Pretty pleased with this, gorgeous. Just making sure, and also, I'm making sure it's just really smooth, but also I'm going over this very gently. I'm not pressing too hard. I'm light as a feather, barely squeezing. I'm just so light. Okay, so liking that a lot. Next color, pink. Ooh, that's pretty. Those sunsets are so pretty with the pink in them. And this is really covering a lot of my canvas. I'm kind of pressing at this point. Oh, I love that. It's so pretty. Got a lot covered here. See how much I've covered? Now I'm going to dip into the purple and I'm just using the same spot. Actually, I think I'm going to do pink and purple together. And then I'll do solid purple in the end. So I just did a double dip of pink and purple. We may have to do two coats of this purple. This particular purple, um, it's a little see-through, so. And that's okay. If we have to come and do another coat of the purple, it'll be just fine. Look at that. Look at this beautiful sunset. Now what you wanna do is make sure you get the edges of your canvas, okay? I'm gonna come and do all the edges in purple. Sorry, I know it's a little wonky looking. All right, so I've got all the edges and I definitely can see that I feel like I'm gonna be wanting to add a little more red and then making this purple a little darker. But what I need to do now is dry it with a hair dryer. So this is a good time for you to catch up and then blow dry it with a blow dryer and then meet me back here. Back. Okay, so I've got it dry to the touch here. And I am gonna come in, I do wanna start off again, maybe right in here, because I really feel, looking at it, that I want some more reds going. So I'm actually gonna start in a new spot, if you wanted to, which I think I'm going to. I'm just gonna cut off that little, that little piece. And I'm gonna start with a little bit of yellow in that red right go right over where that orange was remember I feel like the yellow is really good but the orange and then I'm gonna go right into that red maybe make it a little wider too sometimes when you take the time to do that second little coat it really makes your paint look rich and I just love the way it looks so now I'm picking up straight red See, I'm gonna bring this out a little further than I did before. Meaning the circle with red is just a little bigger. It's kind of overlapping where that pink was. But I'm liking that a lot. Yeah, see how much richer that red looks? It's because of the second coat. Okay, very pleased. And I am gonna just, I just dabbed my my uh, sponge just to get off any extra red. And I'm gonna pick up some pink, ran out of pink, so I'm gonna pour a little in. Ooh, this is a very bright pink. So I got a lot of pink. Come around here like this. 
Ooh, pretty, pretty, pretty. So the pink's coming out a lot bigger. Yeah. And I'm just, I'm not pushing hard. Remember, it's really that skill of gent like just gently wisping it around. And I'm doing the most gentle wisp down in here just to give it some texture. I like seeing some different colors popping in. Isn't that pretty? Now I'm going to dab, dab, dab that some of that pink off and pick up that purple. Hmm, need more purple. Add a little purple. See, look at how much richer that purple looks. You can't see through it. It's beautiful. Same thing with this over here. Very gentle strokes. It's really pretty. I see people kind of rush into doing this where they just start jamming it on and Really, you've got to be so gentle. I'm just adding a little bit of pink coming in here like this, doing some very wispy ones. I like that. See how I did added just a little bit of pink onto that purple? I think that makes it so fun. Very pleased. That is so cute. Beautiful. Okay, I'm all done with that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to blow dry this and you want to blow dry it super solid because when we trace on our picture, we cannot have it wet at all. So go ahead, catch up and meet me back here. So I got it all dry. I'm going to go ahead and place my stencil down. I'm going to first start with my horse and I do know that I want it right on that corner and I'm going to go ahead and trace it out with a pencil. Very cute. Okay. This is the easy part, my friends. This is where we paint the black silhouette in. So I'm going to add a little black to my palette here. And then I'm going to get my brush. You don't want it too wet. So, and I'm also going to flat the ends there, the bristles. And the way I like to paint things, I like to do the outer edge and then I work my way in. And it's really just solid black that we're doing. So I'm going to press and drag. So I'm just gonna continue painting all the way around. Like I said, we'll fill in the hair areas a little bit later. And sometimes, sometimes it helps if you move your canvas a little bit. That's gonna be hair there too, so I'm not gonna worry about it. Fill this in. I like to fill it in using nice, smooth brush strokes. Not like crazy, you know, just filling it in. I, I like to really think about it and I'm just doing long brush strokes. I am going to carry it over to the edge. I know it's hard to see here. So I'm gonna fill that in all the way down to the bottom.
This is just a silhouette. If you've ever taken a picture at the beach before, of when there's a sunset and you take a picture of a person or anything, it doesn't have any light on them, so it makes it look black, and that's what causes the silhouette. Okay, so what we're gonna do for the hair is what I like to do is just paint with the tip and I just wisp it out, little wisps, just like that. And I'm barely pressing. It might even help you to practice on paper or something. And I am gonna put a little bit back here because really they do have a that long mane. Looking good. Press and drag all the way around. Make sure you don't have any glops of paint. I'm feeling really happy with that. And now I'm gonna come over here and turn this around and I'm gonna do my girl. I think I need to add some more paint to my palette. Again, do the outline, press and drag. There it is. What do you guys think? Pretty, pretty, I think. I think it looks pretty beautiful. You can add a little more hair. And I did wisp down over here a little bit. But I just think that's so sweet and special. That's all there is to it. You do want to sign your name at the bottom. I will get my little skinny brush. Add my little initials, TB, and that's it. This is a really fun, easy one, great one for beginners. I hope you enjoyed doing this.